Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through self-referential integrity constraint. So in a foreign key of one table, if a foreign key, so let us assume the self-referential. So basically what is referential guys? So if one foreign key of, sorry, if one primary key of one table or if foreign key is referring to the primary key is nothing but our referential, right? So self-referential means self. It is referring to itself. If a foreign key of one table is referring to the primary key of the same table, then we can say that the self-referentiable table. So let us assume we are having the details of employees, employee number, employee name and manager. So let us assume employee number as 101, 102, employee name XY and the managers for 101 is 102 and for 102 is 101. So indirectly the managers are depending on this employee numbers. So these manager numbers are nothing but employee numbers, right? So for employee 2, the boss is X and for X, sorry, for Y, it is X, fine. So in that way, this is nothing but self-referential. They are referring themselves. So in this way, how we will be creating the tables, guys? So that will be a lab program for you. Okay, so basically SQL, create a table employee 11. Employee number, we give primary key. Employee name, we are giving varchar to not null. Whereas MGR ID, please remember this. References, employee 11, E number. We are using this on delete set value. Sorry, on delete set null. We are using this. If you delete the parent record, then the child record, if it is using it, it will become null. Fine? Okay. So now we are inserting the values. Insert into EMP 101 SAM null. So your question will be why I am inserting null. Here we have clearly given the output should be 101. So basically the thing is that initially one, the first record when you are inserting 101, there are no previous records. Then how can you create the manager ID as 102? If you try to create it gives you an error that it strings violated, constraint violated in that way, fine. So insert, you have inserted null initially. After that you will be inserting the 102's record and then you will be updating the 102's manager ID to employee 101. So when you select it, you'll be getting our required output. So this will be our required output. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea on self-referential integrity constraint. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through how we can declare the constraints for column level and table level. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.